Hello and welcome back. This video will be all of the current working farms and exploits you can use in the Elden Ring to gain runes fast inside of the most recent hotfix that came out, I believe, a few days ago. So, we're going to go through some methods here, some farms which you guys can utilize to gain an immense amount of runes. So, let's just get into this video. For our first farm, this will be the Dragon Farm. Now, what do I mean when I say Dragon Farm? Now, if you come to Fort Faroth in the Kaelid area, there will be a dragon. Now, this farm is super good because when you kill this dragon, Dragon. If you run toward the grace in between 10 seconds, the dragon won't um, disappear. If you grace, he will respawn and you can keep on repeating this method and gaining runes from it. Now, you can use any weapon you want, but simply kill the dragon, and once you have done that, go toward the grace, and if you do this in between 10 seconds, the dragon will not die, and instead, he will stay there, and you will gain runes. It's a silly bug, however, if utilized correctly, you can gain some immense runes from this first farm. So, that's pretty much it for the first farm in the video. Let's head into farm number two. For rune farm number two, make your way toward the mountain tops of giants and from there make your way toward this grace right here now once you are there you can go ahead and go out of the grace and if you walk straight and aim toward this like area there should be a massive um bird now when you see this bird and go close to it it should get squashed by a massive hand now when this happens you will gain runes from this and you can go ahead grace and you can repeat this to gain runes super fast so this is another method to gain runes and every time you should gain around 2000 runes if you have a golden scarab you might gain a little bit more but that's basically it for rune farm number two let's head into our next rune farm to do this make your way toward the fourth church of marica now, once you are here, come toward this location on the map and you will see a portal. If you interact with this portal and take the path shown on the clip here, you should be able to get toward the rune farm. So as you cross this bridge, you're going to need to take a sharp left and from there, you're going to need to drop cautiously into this new area right here. You should see a grace located right here on the map and you can go ahead, grace up then grab your horse, go down this slope and do a full 360. You will see that when you get toward the area I am in here, you should see a ball form. Now with this ball, you need to duke the ball and with that it will fall and you will gain runes for doing this. Now if you go ahead and go back toward the grace, repeat this and you can gain simple runes for just doing a pretty simple rune farm method. I recommend this for players that are level 1 to 25 just so you can get started with your leveling up as I believe the early levels in Elden Ring are the most crucial as this is when you're most vulnerable so it's definitely recommended that you do try and fasten this leveling up and this rune farm is definitely one I would recommend trying out for early game players but with that, we're going to now head into our second rune farm, which is level 25 to level 40. So for the next rune farm, this being the level 25 to level 40, but realistically, this can go to whichever level you want. You want to first head toward the Mog Dynasty. This area can be unlocked by doing a quest from this person right here. He should be the first NPC you come across in Elden Ring. But for those that are unsure where he resides, this is the first step, which is your first grace, and he can be located just where this fence is. If you are unsure on how to complete this quest, I will have a guide down below in the description and also in the pinned comment where it goes through how to complete the quest. But anyways, when you do eventually make your way toward the Mog Dynasty, you're going to need to grace in this location right here on the map. Once you are here, you're going to first grab yourself a bow, then grab yourself some arrows and come toward this area right here. You're now going to need to aim in your arrow and wait for this enemy to go across the blood lake. When you guys have a clear shot, shoot it and from there it should retaliate and with that it should fall down in to the abyss below. You should gain a solid 25k runes. Do note I am on my second playthrough, meaning that I have already new game plus, meaning that I will gain more um, runes per kill. 
you may gain less or more it just depends on your new game but anyways moving on for the next thing you can do here is that there are a bunch of turtle creatures in front of you all you need to do is kill these guys repeat with the grace and you can use this to gain fast runes inside of Elden Ring for your mid to late game this is our second method let's hop into method number three all right, so for our next method in the video, this will be similar to our last glitch in farming wise. I recommend this for level 30, around to 50 to 60. This farm can be located toward the windmill area on the map. And if you are unsure on where that is, here I have it pinned on my map. Come toward this location and I recommend using the knight and flame sword. So grab this sword and from there start to walk up the hill and you should see these people dancing. Now what you gotta do is grab your sword and use the flame ability and with that you should be able to easily take out all enemies in front of you. So as you continue to climb up this hill more enemies should arise making it a pretty decent room farm. Once you've killed all enemies, you're going to grace and redo this. And if you keep on repeating this, you should gain up to 1000 runes per kill, making this method a pretty decent method for mid to late game players. So starting off, you're first going to need to open up the Mog Dynasty. There are two ways to get to the Mog Dynasty. The first way is doing the White Mask Very his um quest, which is pretty simple. If you go toward the first step and from there speak to White Mask, he should teleport toward the Rose Church. And once he is there, all you have to do is follow what he says. First, you're going to need to complete five matches of NP, and after that, make your way toward this church right here, the Church of Inhibition, and grab this. Uh, cloth which you can then bring back to white mask and doing that he will grant you the medallion You need to get to the Mog dynasty the second way of getting to the Mog dynasty is Simply going toward this area in the mountaintop of the Giants And if you come toward this exact spot pinned on my map There will be a teleporter which will take you straight to the Mog dynasty So take either way you want but just get toward the Mog dynasty and once you are there, you can go on and complete this exploit. So what we have to do is venture our way up toward the top of the Mog Dynasty. So make your way toward the top and you will be greeted with a boss fight. This boss fight, when you first get here, you're going to need to enter the boss. Now, once we are in this boss fight, let the boss kill you. And from there, you will see that every time we try to enter the boss from now on, there will be a barrier we need this as what we're going to now need to grab is the mog shackle or i believe it's called something like that but just go ahead and make your way toward the capital and make your way toward the sewers so once you are down in the sewers you're going to need to come toward this grace right here so once you are here you can then follow my lead down toward the bottom of this this dungeon like room and what we are going to need to do is avoid these crabs go around them and there should be an item which we can pick up this should be the mog shackle and with this item we can now go back toward the mog area which we were before or the mog dynasty and from there we can now complete this exploit so now we need one more item this will be the rotten dragon breath to grab this, come to K lead and come toward this Dragon Communion Center. Once you are there, you can then purchase the Rotten Dragon Breath. And making our way back toward the Mog Dynasty, we can now continue on with the exploit. We now need to grab the Mog Shackle and equip it. From there, we need to use this item three times. So go ahead and use the item three times and after the third time using it, you can now enter through the mist and just like that, the boss will not be able to move. One thing to note is that if you stagger the boss, it may get out of this position and start to actually attack you. So to prevent this from happening, use the Rotten Dragon Breath and this should kill the boss without making it stagger, which means we 
can kill the boss and we can simply get the runes from killing it. So you can go ahead and use the dragon breath. You will need to use it two to three times. And just like that, you can grab yourself up to a million runes with the golden scarab equipped. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, smash a like as it does help the video spread to more viewers on the platform. And until next time, take it easy and goodbye.